so hello friends my name is dravindra in this video we will see how to send the email notification okay on the basis of date and status column okay so in my sharepoint list i have created one simple sharepoint list in the site of power platform given name to that remi reminder okay and here it is simply title column i have taken date column and status column okay so in the date column it is a date type column okay i will show you this type of column also so you can be see this is a date type column simply and this is a status column okay so this is the choice column i will show this column to you also so in the choice column we have the three choices approve pending reject okay i will close this now we let's jump to the uh, run history we show <coughs> you how it is uh, run okay so the flow our flow is run every day okay after that we will get get the items that are present in our on the basis of our filter query after that we compose that okay if length is one or anything then condition will become true and then we send the email notification simply okay so how to achieve this let's we see uh, so i will go into the edit mode So in the recurrence, I have taken the interval one and frequency is one day. Okay, because I have to send an email every day. Okay, that's why I have taken here one. Okay, on the in the get items, I have provided the site address list name in the filter query. I using the date add dates. Okay, this is the expression. Okay, here just type add dates. After that UTC now UTC now will give you the today's date okay minus 1 means yes previous day okay we are getting um, by using this okay if date is equal to the previous date okay then it will filter that's records only and the status is pending then only here two condition we are checking first is date is equal to the previous date and status is equal to the pending state okay to get this date and the status okay you have to go go to the list settings here click on this gear icon list settings after going on the list setting uh, which column you have to take if i have to take the date just click on the date and check this date take this filter column name from the url itself okay for the status also do the same just go to the status and take your url name from here column name from here okay then we are using the compose okay length of this output okay if it is a uh, greater than one okay simply we use length function okay in the length we use the dynamic we add the dynamic content and add the value of this filter queue reaction okay after that we will check this compote output if it is zero then our flow will stop here okay and if it is greater than zero means one two or three then we will convert that record into HTML table, okay? And for uh, after on, we have to send this email to the email. That's why we create here, uh, provide here CSS to our table. And on the send an email view to action, okay? Here I taken the my email. You can take any email and just here provided the subject and the body here, okay? Uh, that's all, friends. Okay, for today. If you have some any suggestions for me you can provide in the comment box i always uh, try to improve myself okay and uh, if you face some queries you also mention in the comment box okay apart from this flow if you have any query you can also add that in comment box i try to answer your all the questions keep learning keep growing keep exploring that's all friends thank you have a nice day